It's World Water Day, so we connect with those making a difference on uh, the ground, of course. Uh, global water activist here, Mina Guli, is here with us to make sure that we are driving a massive force behind a Run Blue campaign that you will hear all about in the next couple of seconds. And she joins us in studio just to share some insights into her upcoming run and, of course, the global movement that is for water conservation. What a privilege. It is so nice to have you here. Thank you very much. It's really nice to be here, particularly to be here in Cape Town, which was in many ways the genesis and the start of this whole movement that we have built around the world and a very important place for me today to yes. be able to celebrate because it was it's literally one year to the day since I finished what? running 200 marathons. I can't even be even when I say it, it just sounds so completely ridiculous That's great. for someone who neither likes running nor is very good at it. Um, but yeah, I ran 200 marathons in 32 different countries around the world and finished on the steps of the United Nations exactly this day, 365 days ago. Well, thank you for dropping in. Honesty, you're amazing, really. And what a great feet for you to look back at that and have an anniversary with us. This is great. But well done. We are so proud. And now we continue. We've got a campaign here and it's an amazing campaign. It's obviously a Run Blue campaign. And what we want to do is build some idea around awareness and conservation of water. Is that the premise of this campaign? Yeah, there's really three parts to this. Okay. The first one is that we want to raise awareness of yes. the water crisis. I, I feel like I'm preaching to the converted every time I come back here to Cape Town because the truth is you guys have seen the challenges that water has has provided to yes. all of us and you've not only seen it but you've come together to figure out ways around it and to manage it and to live through it. Um, so the first thing for the rest of the world is understand that we have a problem. The second is to show that it's an urgent problem yes. that we need to act on and the third is to really drive change because this is we, we can't continue in a world where we don't have enough water. We need to figure out solutions. And those solutions come from companies, from governments and from individuals. So that's the premise of the Run Blue campaign, drive change. All right, and change is needed. If you look at our country, you said it, you know, there are still moments of scarcity happening and availability and safety. Water safety is also huge. So let's look at the campaign uh, with the World Water Run. I've heard about this and it sounds Incredible. For those who have been under a bit of a rock with regard to the campaign, what is the World Water Run campaign? What's it all about? Yeah, so one of the most special things for me finishing the campaign that I ran the 200 marathons on the steps of the United Nations was it was not about me running alone. What okay. happened is that during the 200 marathons that I ran, people around the world stepped up to run alongside alongside me. And by the time I finished, it was no longer about me running at all. Thank goodness, because I hate it, as we've talked about. <laughs> but it was about this global movement that we had built together. Yes. The biggest global grassroots movement on water in history. It is unbelievable. And the World Water Run is our opportunity to continue to build that. So it's seven days, people across the world stepping up and running for water and showing the decision makers in the boardrooms and in the halls of power of government that we care yes. and that we want them to act. And it's, you know, activism is so important. That's the only way we can get awareness out there. But now we need to look forward. And now we, you're in Cape Town, which is very special. Are you doing any events in our vicinity? And how can anybody get up and join a cause, because I'm hoping this is not just a one year flash in the pan type of thing. I mean, we want to make sure that we are supporting you regularly, because if you look at water conservation, it's something that needs to be part of our lives for the rest of our lives forever. So how do we connect with an event of yours and also just start building this narrative in our homes, communities, businesses? What do we do? Yeah, so our ask is that everybody runs blue, whether it's a company, whether you're a government official, a yes. policymaker, or you're just in your own homes. It's like, how do I embed water saving and water conservation measures into my own life every single day? Yeah. And we know, because I've been out there and I've seen it for myself, that the world has a major problem in water. At the front line of the water crisis is our rivers. I know because I've been out there and yeah. I've seen it for myself that our rivers are in distress. Yes. So what we want to do is to run a campaign that saves our rivers. So we are building our community around a campaign starting towards the end of the year. Lovely. Um, where I'm going to run thousands of kilometres down some of the biggest rivers in the world, including rivers right here in South Africa and in Cape Town. So for anybody that wants to participate, we have some in real life events today. Wow. But please, and you can go to the website to find out more. So you can go to runblue.org and you'll find out more about the runs, not only today, but the World River Run, which is the run that I'm going to do towards the end of the year. And frankly, I'm terrified You're by it because running. it makes... No, no. This one, this next one, makes the 200 marathons look like a warm-up. Yeah. So I am really terrified. But the truth is, 
If we want to make big change happen, yes. we need to be prepared to do hard things. And whether it's running hundreds of marathons on the front lines of the water crisis or it's stepping up to actually solve this global problem, you know, every single one of us is capable of doing more than we realise and doing the hard things necessary to get there. So wow. I'm excited to demonstrate that it can be done. Uh, I'm totally terrified by it, but the truth is, by being here in Cape Town, surrounded by this incredible community of people, yes. where it all started for me, where I made the commitment here on the banks of the Orange River that this was going to be what I was going to do for the rest of my life, yes. this inspires me. People here, this community, the, the strength of character, yeah. the determination, the resilience, every single time I falter, every single time I think, this is too much, this is too big, what am I doing, I'm a crazy person, I'm not even a runner. And I'm doing this like crazy, ridiculous stuff, running yeah. through flash floods, climbing up to the tops of glaciers, hanging from trees to see what the impact is of deforestation. All of those things, I remind myself of the wow. power and strength of the people here in Cape Town and in South Africa, and I draw on it, and it's what helps me to get across the line every single day. So, you guys, you inspire me. I, I'm inspired. Thank you so much, Mina, and all the best with your journeys. I know you love running, but more importantly, Mina loves running water, which everybody has a right to. So World Water Day, that is your inspiration. Of course, make sure that you join whatever cause comes out of runblue.org.za. Of course, come through runblue.org. Is that correct? Yes. Go click on the website and connect, of course. And more water initiatives and conservation ideas for you in your Feel Good Breakfast Show right after this.